Now that we have the paper mounted to the mat, we're ready to cut. Simply place the mat between the roller bar and the deck, pushing in until you feel resistance. While holding the mat between the roller bar and the deck, locate the load paper key in the lower right hand corner of the keypad. Press the load paper key to move the cutting mat and paper into the Cricut. With the paper loaded, you can now select characters for cutting. To select a character, simply press the desired key. The character selected will appear in the LCD screen above the keypad. To choose a character in the upper right hand corner of a key, press the shift key located in the lower left hand corner of the keypad. The shift key only has to be pressed once to activate. The shift lock key should be pressed if you want to continue to use a character in the upper right hand corner of a key. Use the space key located in the upper right hand corner of the keypad to add spaces between characters, just as you would use the space bar on a computer keyboard. The backspace key works just like the backspace or delete key on a computer keyboard, deleting one character from the LCD screen each time it is pressed. The size dial on the front of the machine controls the size of characters to be cut. For example, if I wanted to cut the word cat in a 3 inch or 7.6 centimeter size, I would set the size dial to 3. The LCD screen would show that 3 inches has been selected. Then I would type cat on the keypad. The C A N T in cat would be cut in proportion to the tallest letter in the alphabet. Only one sizing option can be selected for each cut. Not all phrases or shapes can be cut in all sizes. Stacked phrases like I love you and birthday blessings are automatically limited by the Cricut machine to a size that will fit on a 6x12 or 15.2 by 30.5 centimeter paper. The Cricut LCD screen will show a warning if the selected phrase or shape will not fit on the available paper size. With cat visible on the LCD screen, I push cut for the Cricut to begin cutting out the word cat. While the Cricut is cutting the words, Cricut is cutting will appear on the screen. Once the machine is done cutting, the cutting mat and paper can be removed from the machine. To remove the cutting mat from the machine, simply push the unload paper key located in the lower right hand corner of the keypad overlay. The paper and mat are removed from the machine. Removing the cut characters from the cutting mat is easy. Using the Cricut Blade tool, gently lift the cut characters from the cutting mat. Once you have removed the cut characters from the mat, use the Cricut Scraper to remove any remaining paper from the mat surface. Clean mats result in clean cuts. Now this is a good time to discuss the load last key. If I want to cut with this piece of paper again, I press it against the cutting mat and reinsert it into the Cricut machine. But instead of pressing the load paper key, I will press the load last key so the blade will begin cutting where it left off. The Cricut machine is now ready to cut.